All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 7. We're about to fall. <laughs> anyway, dudes, we have some fun stuff planned for today. But first of all, I need I need to upgrade these guys. So off camera, I went ahead. Whoops. I went ahead. Uh, this isn't the right spot. Where are my fur nine? There they are. I went ahead and upgraded all these to the vibranium furnaces. But now I want to upgrade them to unobtainium. So click, 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 click. These are the fastest uh, furnaces we, we, we can get. Uh, now, we can't put upgrades into them, but when it comes to base furnaces, uh, yeah, those are the max. And I went ahead and changed this up. I uh, don't know if I showed you guys, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, um, just uh, did this on all four sides. Finally, this is what I've been thinking about doing. It did turn out pretty good. We have the crafting station or crafting terminal down here. We have the pattern encoding terminal so we can make our patterns. And then we can access all of the uh, interfaces here. And as you can see, I've been putting a little bit more stuff in here. I uh, haven't really done a whole lot. Got rid of those islands that were floating back here. Didn't want to do it. I just want to do a floating base. And, uh, yeah, have a little bit of progress in here. Just a couple more seeds. Uh, we have our redstone seeds here. And then we also have some quartz seeds and some glowstone seeds. So just really basic seeds. And then these are also little, our industrial hemp seeds that we make our string with. But, uh, yes, very good. Um, finish this off. This is kind of a weird spot. So I have a ender tank up at the top here that is uh, pumping XP from our blaze farm in here. Uh, but it's not currently working because I don't think the chunk loading is working too well in the pack. But uh, yeah, super simple, just has a couple, couple tanks here. Um, yeah, this is just our, our green tank that is transmitting our blaze essence. But uh, yes, let's get into what we want to do today. And from what you can see today, we are going to be getting into the soul jars from Mystical Agriculture because we do need to go ahead and get some essence from some mobs like cows and stuff because that's going to be really helpful later on. We need to make some prosperity stuff, which is good. And there we go. One, two, three, four. We need four of these per animal. Um, and so we're going to, I don't know the exact animals. I do know that I want to do cows, obviously, uh, and then possibly chickens. Uh, yeah, so that's fun. Let's get this so soul dust, soul stone. I believe we smelt this, right? Yes, and then we smelt that again. All right, let's make a recipe. Okay, so you there, craft perfect, and then uses here, you there, perfect. So then we take it and we go, all right, we're going to put this here and we're going to put uh, this here. So we need to get some soul dust. Some soul dust. And bam, there we go. As you can see, we are plowing through that. Fantastic. 21. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, um, so then also with the, I believe we need a solium dagger. Yes. Hostile attuned. Um, yeah, this guy actually. So we can switch it, creative attuned. We can switch it so that mobs or hostile mobs are more effective. So skeleton, zombie, spider, and creepers. We kill those, put them together like that. It does better with uh, grabbing souls from those guys. But we need uh, this one, not the hostile attuned one. And so we can grab that real quick. Beautiful. And then we're gonna enchant this, but we need some, we need some malapis. So let's get the enchant done. Okay, so let's see if we get anything good. Uh, sharpness three, I guess that helps. Let's go kill a bunch of cows. Oh my, what have we run into here? Never mind. Um, anaconda. Don't want none unless you got buns. 
That is a vicious crocodile. More cat. Does it work? Yes. Yes, it does. Killing children. I mean, baby cows works. That. Oh, no. Step the frick up, Kyle. Okay, so cow seeds. We just need, ooh, we just need Produtium. Okay, and then Solium seed. That's easy. Let's go ahead and build it. We can build it if we try, just the two of us, you and I. Okay, so the cow soul jars are in. Now we just do that. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do this. No? There we go. For some reason, that was still putting seeds in. And there we go. We have our cow seeds. Now, all what we're going to have to do is come over here, place this down, grab our water bucket, and we're going to grow this up. And then once it grows fully... We should be able to, like when we harvest it by clicking it, it should give us another seed. So that's the goal here. And then we'll get a total of five of these, and then we'll set them up. Look at that. We're already at 42%. It's crazy. Now, we could add some growth accelerators down below, which I think would actually be a really good idea. Um, but, like, just for a spot that we can grow. Yep, and see, look at that. We already got second second seed. Um, and so then it should be even faster now that we have more things growing. So that's good. But I'm going to be here for a bit growing these up. Once we got five, I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so we have the five uh, cow seeds here. They grew pretty quick. Uh, so now we're just going to go ahead and make some farmland for them. And da -da -da -da. Let's see, how much supremium? We can make five Supremium farmland for them. Very cool. So I think, so we have, I'm starting on this side. I haven't actually switched these over yet. Don't tell anyone. I haven't switched them over to these pipes, even though they look so much better. Um, I'm lazy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm lazy. What else do you want? Oh, I already had farmland in here. I feel dumb. But we're going to upgrade it. Because we can. Okay, so those have been up or inputted. And the reason why we want the cow seeds so much is because of the cow essence. Um, like, we can make food, but this is the real thing. We can make leather from it, and that's what we want. What is that? Assistant cook. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, we're doing this for the leather. Uh, so we can make, you know, ender chests, stuff like that whenever we need to. And that's really it, because we're going to need a lot more ender chests, because we're going to be, over the next couple of episodes, we're really going to be ramping up the scale of our project. So they might be coming out a little bit slower than normal. Uh, but I'm thinking over here, we have these kind of go into a giant, oop, hold up. We have these go into a giant circle over here. Uh, we have these going up up and down, like, like probably like 20 to 30 blocks above this, and then like 20 to 30 blocks below, like this big cylinder. Um, and then maybe it could be, you know, glass. Uh, but the inside would be, for one, we'd have our mob farm with tinted glass. Um, so we'd have blazes going there. And we do have the ability to have the blazes actually um, spawn in without us being too close. I need to find... Yes, here, I believe, Nether Store, yeah, ignores player, um, so this will just spawn continuously over and over again, and these are a little different, I like how this is, max entities, so we can have more of them in here, we also need to get some ghast essence, um, we need to kill 16 ghasts, which is something very possible, if, we're being, if I'm being honest, 
that is something I think we do as well. Um, some soldier jars. So we have a total of three of them. Should be able to make a fourth one. No problemo. Okay. So I'm now going to kill 16 guests. We'll do another one of those cool time lapse or montages of me just killing them. So, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. If anything funny happens, I'll edit that in. Oh, my gosh. We have pig step. It's been this close the whole time. I just opened this chest up. Oh my word. That is fantastic. We're definitely gonna have to give that a listen to. Okay, so we did end up getting all four of these filled up with the ghast uh, souls, which is great. But we also got pig step, so I think it's only fitting to play it. So that's what we're going to do, and we're using nether wood. I did not actually intend to do that, but it, it ended up doing, doing good. So we're going to put this here, jukebox, and pig step. I actually don't know if I've ever listened to it. That's going to be our jam. All right, so Gahast Seeds. Um, okay, so we're going to need the Imperium. back and listen to it later let's go ahead and create the final seeds to this side okay so now we just need to put all four of the imperium seeds here and then now these guys oh, I don't know what I'm doing this guy here and then we step on the plate and there we go we're gonna have our gas tears I have my handy dandy watering can and I'm gonna go over here and we are going to start farming this stuff up. I'm super excited. Here we go. <laughs> Alrighty. So we do have the seeds here. But again, I just remembered that we already have the essence there. Um, would this benefit from higher tier farmland? I don't know if that's actually how it works in garden clashes. So unless one of you guys says different, I'm going to probably keep it the same. Increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. I think I'm going to put that one on my neck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I found a couple artifacts in the nether. But yes, now we have these going, which is great. Uh, the leather ones have been, or the cow ones, have been running for a little bit of time. So I should have it here. Oh, and then an update. So I went ahead and actually blacklisted the hemp seeds on here. And then they're still... They're still whitelisted down here, so they can only possibly come out the bottom. Um, so if you guys are running a similar setup, that's how you have to do it. You have to blacklist it on where you don't want it to go, and then whitelist it on where you do want it to go. Um, so that's just a little different, a uh, little bit of an improvement since the last time. And then each time that I come in here and uh, put a new recipe, and I always hit the remember, so that helps. And then there we go. So, yep, there we go. We have leather getting put into the system as we speak. Um, and I'm going to grab all that. That was a lot of leather now that I looked at it, which was great. Because that has been a bottleneck that we've had for a while. I have to go out and kill kangaroos. Um, let's see, how much leather do we have? Holy cow, we're getting a lot. That's very good, but I need to have a spot for it in our system. Um... I'm going to put it over here, top left, and then we're going to throw some upgrades on it. 
Something we're going to need to make soon is emerald seeds. I think that's how we should finish off the episode today. It's a very... Lots of seeds today, if you've, if you've noticed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be making some emerald seeds because those are very important. Uh, we do have... Four, I'm going to use all of those and then... Oh. Whoa. Oh. Well. What was that I was saying? Emer oh, we do need to make some supremium farmland, uh, which is important. Let's see. So we need 25. Hang on a second. I want to go ahead and see if we can make some insanium, some insanium farmland. Look at that, 14 insanium. Now we can combine that with some farmland. Yeah, oh, but we can make some. All right, so insanium. Insanium farmland. If you guys notice, I sound a little congested. It's because I am. See, I'm pretty sure that it that they won't even grow within the garden cloche unless you have the proper tier farmland in there. So we're just going to max it out. There's no chance that it might not. But now we have emerald seeds, which means we have emeralds automated. Well, not automated, but being produced. Now we still need to automate them. Uh, once we have a couple of these grow, I'll go underneath and... We can go ahead and set the patterns. Uh, but let's see. Do we have any essence from the ghast tiers yet? We do. Very cool. So we can go uses here. Oh, wait. I need to hit remember. There we go. And then uses, a ghast tier, apply. Yep. And there we go. So all of those from this side over here have been completely automated. We don't need to worry about it. And then now we're just waiting on some emerald seeds that will eventually, or emerald essence that will eventually pop up there. So I'm just going to wait a little bit, let that, uh, let that build up, I guess, and then we'll see what's going on. So very cool. We have a little bit of emerald essence set up, so we can go ahead and finish this. If we go like that, yep, it has that. Perfect. Click there, uses all of the emeralds and we're not even going to have any show up because it does take nine which is crazy but you know if we go afk for a while we'll be good now i have actually also pulled this cable there was a cable that was right here uh, that was just pulling and putting items in here without like we don't have anything to filter um like that we need to filter out from going into our crafter here so until we do we don't need this because it'll just go here and then into the crafter and then once it's crafted it'll go down and then into the system so until we have something to filter out from going in here we're not going to have it which is perfectly okay so we can set that there for now and then we can also access this from outside so that means the emeralds are automated very very cool and so what we're going to be doing in the next episode is I want to talk to you guys about this to create a little bit of hype for you because it's exciting. So I do have a few spawners here. Um, that's a phantom, creeper, strays, wither skeleton, right? So we can automate that. Um, I do have a couple endermen in here. Yes. Um, endermen, endermite, skeletons, zombies. Um, I do have a creeper one in here somewhere. It may be in... Uh, one of my bags but uh, with the capturing um, enchantment on here as you can see it says capturing four we did get some spawn eggs so that's good we also have an endermite spawning as well from killing one future super turtle here in post editing uh, the reason why the spawn eggs are important is because we can use those to change out who's in the spawner uh, so just wanted to notate that here uh, because we're going to need quite a few Enderman spawners for our spawner in the future. And just wanted to make sure you guys knew that that's why we have the spawn eggs. That's why they're awesome because we can just take like a skeleton one and swap it out for an Enderman one and then upgrade it. So pretty cool. Uh, but it means I need to go around and kill some mobs that I need. Hopefully get a spawn egg and then I can throw them into a spawner and we can farm them. So if you guys have any suggestions of mobs that you think we should farm, go ahead and let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And then I want like let like because I want to do it so but we're gonna have a couple endermen 
I don't know how we're going to do the Phantom. Uh, oh, here's the Creeper. We're definitely going to do the Creeper for Gunpowder. Um, so then we're getting everything out of the Gas, too. So Gas, is, uh, gas Tears and Gunpowder. So then we have Gunpowder Automated. And, oh, and I also have a Skeleton one. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And then I'm also going to be creating a super cool room for them. Um, that circular shape that I was telling you about over here. I need to figure out how big, because I, I want to have it as the default spawning space. Uh, but I also, I want to have the spawning room actually be spherical, like a circle. Um, so I need to do some tests and figure out, right? So we need to go out four blocks in each direction like this, and then the walls show up. Um, so I need to figure out how big the circles need to be to go around here, like to keep everything in one, two, three, four. Yeah, this one's one too long. Um, but then go around here, maybe even be a little bit bigger uh, and then have another circular around there so you can walk around the entire spawner and then we'll have all of the walls be the, the tinted glass. It's going to look amazing. It's going to look fantastic for here. And then I'm going to duplicate it on all sides. And then one of these will be for the spawner. One of these will be for a couple other things. And then we might look into getting into automating killing the wither uh, because with the wither skeletons being in the farm we're going to have wither skulls after that and then we're also going to need uh, nether stars to kill or to um, set up the spawners so that they don't need a player by to spawn so we have a lot of technical things coming up that are going to be a blast but anyways ladies and gentlemen thank you all again so much for watching you guys are amazing I'll see you all in the next video our create fan is still going crazy but who cares anyway take care peace out bye bye